flying hiller platform with quad in the center. Take one. Okay, let's try a slower start. Hmm. Whoa, maybe if I turn up the gyro sensitivity, it would work. Oh, it looked cool. Okay, let's turn up the gyro. Okay, we're going to turn up our gyro sensitivity. It's a max. Let's see what happens. Okay, they're all set to max. Let's go ahead and plug it back in. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. It actually was working for a second there. Okay, Hiller platform with quad inside, mod quad. Gyrus turned up to 100%. Let's see what happens. Not bad. Ah. Okay, for some reason, the wind just keeps blowing it over here. I was hoping I'd be able to beat that wind. It's barely windier, but... Well, maybe not barely. Indoors, they probably have better luck. Whoa! I don't know what happened there. But, the guy is basically ripped off. Let's take the guy off and see what happens. Okay, Hiller platform, no guy. Uh, just a ducted shroud with the mod quad inside. Come on. The wind. Gyro sensitivity is set to 100%. weird it just went nuts oh it got caught in there let's get rid of this whole section Okay, let's turn the gyros back to 50% because it's like really overcompensating for everything. So, let's see what we got here. Gyros at 50%. Let's try that again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? There we go. Ah, it seems to me it's not so much 
the gyros as it is how small the wingspan is here the arm span it's so small that you really it makes it hard to fly it's a little too maneuverable if the motors were on the outside we'd have probably a better luck but that concludes the test i think the optimum arm size would be about 17 inches